the cart is a narrow gauge ladder uh, from McMaster Car and uh, 40 casters. And basically what you have here is, um, this is uh, pipe insulation. This just protects the boat. Um, sort of there are moments where the keel might rub on this. For the most part it rides on the, on the wheels while you're launching. Um, so you can see the boat uh, sitting on these wheels all screwed into the ladder. I found some self-tapping, uh, these are nice self-tapping screws that made that a lot easier work. Um, and going into this narrow gauge aluminum ladder, it's an eight foot ladder, which is the largest ladder that you can get shipped from McMaster. Um, I actually found it surprisingly difficult to find just straight um, non-telescoping uh, ladders uh, at my local hardware stores. So that's kind of ultimately why I went up going with that. And what you have here is the ladder and the casters are actually just with some big Velcro straps. I've attached it to this um, standard. This is for you know kayaks and canoes. This little cart. Um, it's rated supposedly to have about a 300 pound capacity. This boat weighs probably is over 200 pounds. The boat itself is about 60, 65. The those two batteries weigh about 125. Um, and then the motor contraptions, sort of the, all the, the clamps, the two motors, comes up to about 30 pounds. Um, and then, you know, odds and ends in the boat. So you're, you know, around 220 pounds roughly, give or take. Um, so it does hold this all. In time I felt like the, these, the wheels have fallen out of true a little bit. Um, I hope, hope, hope they don't ever pretzel on me one day while I'm taking the boat because then I'd be in trouble. I've sort of thought about actually putting some backup casters on the bottom of this in case things really go badly. I can pull out that cart from underneath and actually sort of at least limp my way home on, on some backup wheels. Uh, but uh, so these black straps are, it's slack right now just because of the way the boat is sitting. It's actually um, comes up, uh, it's being held on by this, this uh, tie down, keeps it from falling off the back. And then these two black straps that go up either side and attach to one of the gunnels, um, I'm sorry, one of the thwarts are connected to another McMaster object, uh, this winch. And what this winch lets me do is, uh, I just tightened it slightly, but this lets me launch and retrieve the boat uh, out of the water. And then you, you basically go up to the shore, you tip the boat in a little bit, and then I have that in my video where you, you winch it down. Um, but this setup, I think, is a fantastic uh, setup for launching small boats by hand, uh, especially if you're sort of at these rogue boat launches where you might be kind of dropping in off a little ledge um, or, uh, you know, it's not a very smooth entry, so you don't want to tear up the bottom of your boat. You have, um, you can use these casters and the foam and uh, get a pretty nice uh, launch ability. Also, with this much weight, having the ladder underneath the boat, it distributes the weight of, uh, of those batteries uh, more evenly across the hull. If I were to use the original short, these flip up, they basically are the, you know, the length of this cart and they flip up. That would be a lot of weight on a very small area on the hull and I think would have uh, would go poorly. 